let's hear some tips from Tack. So many times we meet with homeowners in South Florida and they ask, how can we start saving money on our energy bills? It's a big priority and of course there's a lot of different ways. But believe it or not, one of the ways we can start is right here in your garage. So when we meet with homeowners in South Florida, a lot of times we start in the garage and we show them this contraption right here and very few people know what it is and what its function is. If I ask a homeowner, hey, where does your hot water come from and how do you pay for your hot water? Very few people know. So today we're going to take a look at the function of this piece of equipment that's located in most families' garage, understanding how it works and how utilizing it and taking care of it and maintaining it will start to save us a lot of money on our energy bills right away. This is a hot water heater. How this works is water comes in from the city, fills the tank. When the water comes into the tank, the heating elements turn on to heat the water. When the heating elements turn on, the water breaks down and a lot of the composite and a lot of the sediment drops to the bottom of the water heater. Over time, that creates sludge at the bottom of your water heater. I'm sure all of us get our oil change, well, me not as often as I'm supposed to, but it's recommended to get your oil change every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. Why do we do that? We do that so that our car operates more efficiently. It's the same thing with our hotter water heater. If we as homeowners were able to maintain it once a year, doesn't take much time and much effort, but it would be able, it gives us the opportunity to drain the sludge from the bottom of the tank so that instead of that heating element heating through the sludge before it gets to the water, it can just start heating the water. It makes the heating elements run more efficiently. So today we're going to walk you through the steps to take care and maintain this water heater so it saves you a few, few dollars on your energy bills every month and preserves the lifespan of this water heater. So the first thing we want to do when we're, we're draining the water heater is cut off the power source. So you want to go to the breaker and shut off the power to the water heater. Then we're also going to turn off the water so that as we're draining it, no water is coming in from the city so that it, we're just draining out water. So we're going to do those couple things first. Then we're going to attach just a regular garden hose to the bottom here where there's this spigot. And then we're going to run it out through the garage so that the water drains out and away from the home. So as you can see, when we're flushing the water out of the system, a lot of the sediment is being removed from the bottom of the tank. It's important to get the sediment out of the bottom of the tank because that's where one of the heating element is, and we don't want the sediment to get into the heating element, which causes it to run a lot less efficiently. And this sediment is caused by the breakdown of the water when it gets heated, with the water coming in from the city, gets heated, and the sediment drops to the bottom of the tank, which can interfere with the efficiency of the heating element. So as you can see, we're able to flush a lot of this out of the system, which is going to make the system run a lot more efficiently and save us a lot of money on our energy bills. So once the water is drained from the hot water heater, we want to start the process of getting it back to functioning again. Undo the hose, turn the water back onto the city, and that's the important part. You don't want to turn the heating element back on before there's water in the tank. So we want to make sure there's water in the tank before we turn the power on because we don't want those heating elements to fire up without any water in the tank. So make sure we get the water back into the tank and then go back to the breaker and have that heating element turn back on again. Once everything's restored to the tank, it's time to start using the water heater. You feel free to have hot water in a few minutes. You're going to start to see significant savings in your energy bill right away. So we really hope this segment was useful because we really wanted to do something that was going to provide homeowners the opportunity to start doing some things on their own, to start saving some money on their energy bills.